Good morning, everybody. It is June 9th, 2019. These are your morning announcements. Today, it is a gray day. It was raining overnight and this morning. Did you ever get Crosby to go outside? This morning? Yeah, no. I didn't either. Oh boy. We might come home and find pee somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get him to go outside. He does not like getting his feet wet. So. I got like really weird dry skin on my thumb. It's getting on my last nerve. Anyway, so I, it's supposed to clear up, I believe. I'm look, trying to look at my radar here. Radar, radar. I don't see anything on the radar right now. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh no, wait, it went through already. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it looks like it went through already. There might be another little one coming. But hopefully it'll clear up. And the sun will come out. And it'll be great. I was watching videos this morning, as I always do. I love watching videos while I'm eating breakfast. Um, it just sort of, like, gets my day started off right, usually. Um... And uh, I like to like click on like the recommended videos just to see, you know, a lot of times what's recommended to me is completely not right. But this morning I clicked on one. Um, it was like Aliens Among Us or something like that. And it's interesting that that would come up because yesterday I was talking about aliens here on YouTube. That, you know, telling you that I don't believe that they're actually people from other planets, that they're actually beings from another dimension. And it's weird that that would come up as one of my recommended videos. So um, there must be like a YouTube algorithm that like goes through your videos and looks to see what you're talking about and then recommends videos based on what you were talking about, which is pretty creepy actually, don't you think? I mean, I, have you ever noticed, Rick, we'll be talking about something in the living room and then all of a sudden it shows up on your Facebook feed as like an advertisement? Have you ever had that? No. Oh, that's happened to me many, many times and Chrissy as well, where something that we didn't even, we weren't writing about, weren't like on social media discussing, nothing. Just talking amongst ourselves in our living room all of a sudden comes up in my Facebook feed or um, as an advertisement and I'm just like creepy so that's weird but anyway so I was watching this video this morning by this woman who was talking about well first of all let me back up a little bit just looking at her channel um, I wasn't seeing like a I wasn't seeing that this was a channel dedicated to aliens or or anything like that, okay? It's just a channel where she talks about stuff. And she decided to talk about her encounters, her alien encounters. And she was talking about how when she was a child, she did a lot of sleepwalking. She would often wake up in different parts of the house and not know how she got there. She talked about having lucid dreaming when she was younger as well. Um, and lucid dreaming is when you are dreaming and you are convinced you're awake, but you're not. I mean, everything is just crystal clear in the dream. There's no fogginess. There's no, like, jumping around. It is, the world is a lot like what, the world in your dream is a lot like the world in your head, which is also very similar to astral projection, which is another another thing that happens that she was discussing. And um, she talked about how when she was young, 
she would sometimes see these creatures at the foot of her bed that were, they were very like see-through-ish. She said it was a lot like looking at static on a television um, where, you know, you could see that it was a human, a humanoid form, but not necessarily a face, you know? And uh, then she started talking about how now as, a, as an adult, she'll wake up in the morning and start going about her business and out of the corner of her eyes, she'll see little creatures like every now and then running from room to room or running up to her and running away. And when she looks over there to look at them, they're gone. And the last thing she talked about was the, this weird phenomenon that she's experiencing now where people she'll meet people and she'll she'll know she'll just know that they don't have a soul that they are some sort of soulless creature um, and in her mind she attributes them she attributes this phenomenon to the fact that there are aliens on this planet that aliens have come and they have like landed on our planet and they're infiltrating our society and they're um, infiltrating our government and everything in all walks of life that these these beings are here and are um, gently tugging on the strings that control everything in our world. And so I'm watching this video and if you know anything about me you know that I am very 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 interested in the paranormal okay not aliens but actual paranormal you know like ghosts <laughs> and other phenomena similar to that and as she was talking which I, at first I'm like well this is going to be this is going to be a load of bunk and very funny but it wasn't it wasn't at all it like it bothered me actually very much because thing after thing after thing that she was mentioning are things that I've experienced okay I've experienced like crazy weird things like one of my earliest memories was like going to bed when I was probably seven or eight years old it had to have been somewhere in that range because it was with my new bed that I got when I was seven okay um, going into my bedroom my mom tucking me in her leaving the light on in the room because I was reading one of my little books and waking or, or uh, putting my book down to like get up to go over to turn the light off and seeing this creature at the foot of my bed <laughs> you know a little humanoid looking staticky thing right and in my mind, I thought it was a ghost. I'm thinking, this is a ghost. I'm seeing a ghost. I got paralyzed. I could not move. I just sat there staring at it. And when I was finally able to regain control of my body and like close my eyes for a second, when I opened them, it was gone. And that I only experienced that once, okay? And I forgot that this even had happened. The, the thing that like brought this out, this memory out, was when I was actively practicing Zen, Zen Buddhism. And I'd go and I'd go for these retreats where we would sit and meditate for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And all this garbage would just come up. All these garbage memories would come up. And um, I was able to let go of them, you know. And this was one of those memories that came up. But I... I didn't let go of it. I kind of just went, wow, that's weird. And then I ended up having a true paranormal experience at that Zen center. And so this is all like connected and has stayed in my mind, right? Um, but I was a sleepwalker. I'd wake up in all kinds of crazy places. Uh, I woke up in the backyard a couple times. My mom and dad put a little hook lock on the inside of my bedroom door and said, you know, cl you know, lock this at night so that you don't walk down and fall down the stairs yet or end up wandering around outside and get lost. So, you know, I did that and that lasted and 
until like just after puberty and then I stopped, I stopped doing that. Um, lucid dreaming, I had tremendous lucid dreaming, um, tremendous stuff that still affects me to this day. I don't lucid dream anymore, but I did for many, many years. And as far as astral projection, I'm not sure if I've actually done that. I don't know what the difference really between lucid dreaming and astral projection is. So I may have done it. I don't know. But anyways, all these things she, that, that she's talking about, they're like resonating with me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally have experienced everything that you're talking about, including the weird soulless people. And I've talked about this on this channel before where I've been in positions in my life where I've worked with the public. Okay. At my, at one job that I was at for 19 years, I was working with the public on the daily, like hundreds of people per day. Okay. And now here where I'm working, I have the same thing. I'm running into people all the time and I run into these people I can't explain why I know this, but I just know that there's something not right there, okay? Like, they don't have a soul. They are looking right through me. They can hear my thoughts. I always feel like that, you know? And she was talking about this, and I'm like, oh my God, yes! I totally feel you. Holy crap. You know, I've never heard anybody say these things before in, in a way that is just like what I experienced. So I'm wondering if any of you guys have ever experienced any of this. And if you have, please put it in the comments below, okay? I'd like to know who else is out there that might have had these kinds of experiences. So anyways, we're almost to work. So I'm going to let you go. Say hi, Mr. Hug. You didn't even say hi. He says hi. Okay, I love you guys. Mwah. You have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.